Wish TV is your home for high school football. Greg Rakestraw from the ISC Broadcast Network is here to break down our game of the week. Good morning. Thanks for being here of yet course. again. Uh, so this is Lauren Central at Warren Central. What are we thinking? Well, Warren Central, uh, coming into the season, we all thought this was going to be a really solid team. Mm -hmm. uh, and what we have learned is defensively they are phenomenal. They are one of two teams in the state that has yet to give up a point through the first three weeks of the season. Mississippi on the 3A level is the other team that has done wow. that. Again, it is a Warren team that is loaded with all kind of top-end defensive recruits. Uh, Damian Shanklin that's going to go play at LSU. They've got Tyrone Burris going to play at the University of Louisville. They've got numerous other kids that I think will end up being uh, Division One or at least you know high level of college players defensively. Offensively, still a bit of a work in progress. Uh, Jaden Rivers is their transfer quarterback that is in still has a a, a sub 50 percent completion percentage on the season. And again, I think their schedule will pick up as well. They open with Fort Wayne Snyder, then beat Warsaw. Uh, opened up with North Central in conference play last week. So the schedule gets tougher as it goes for Warren Central, but so far so good for Mike Kirshner's team. All right. So what about Lawrence Central then? Lawrence Central just got their first win of the season last week. Okay. They played an out-of-state opponent and beat Edwardsville of Illinois. They have lost a couple of close games. We had them back in week one, their huge rivalry game with Lawrence North. And in that game, they just kind of got down early and just left themselves a little bit too much you know, wiggle room to work with. They were down 26-7, made it close. Uh, they played Zionsville in week two, a game that was separated over two halves because of the <laughs> storms that went through. They lost a shootout 46-40. So they played nothing but close games. How good Lawrence Central is, I'm not sure at this point. Terry Walker's a very dynamic young quarterback. You see uh, a sack here from their defense in the highlights. That's the experience of their defense is that front four from previous seasons. The question is, can they maybe run the ball enough on this Warren defense to be successful? I think this is the best team that Warren has faced so far. Is Elsie good enough to catch up with Warren? Time will tell. Okay, and so Elsie lost to Warren last year. Do you think that plays at all, or what are you looking for key-wise tonight? You know, the thing is, is I, I, sure, I, I think the thing is for these guys is that, you know, they're conference foes, and Warren's always one of the top teams in the league, although Ben Davis has been kind of the best team in, in the revamped six-team mix. These teams were sectional foes for a couple of years. That's not the case. So it's a rivalry game because it's next door neighbors yeah. in terms of LC and Warren Central. But I think really for Warren Central, the motivation is how long can we keep this shutout going? And I think for LC is okay, can we kind of make sure our season is really going in the right direction? after a victory last Friday night. That'll be interesting to watch. Uh, what other big games are you watching for? Well, this is rivalry week. This may be one of the best weeks of the high school football regular season. You've got Cathedral Chittard, Avon Brownsburg, the Mudsop game between Hamilton Southeastern and Fishers, Ben Davis and Center Grove in a rematch of last year's 6A South Semi-State and kind of an out-of-area matchup. You know, Trinity out of Louisville, which is a regional powerhouse, plays kind of several teams in the area. Last week, Center Grove beat them. This week, Trinity comes up to Carmel to play them. Uh, so when Anthony and, and Angela and Andrew are putting things for the zone together tomorrow night, there will not be a shortage of highlights from big <laughs> games across Central India. All right, it's going to be a ton of fun, Greg. Thank you so much. And don't you forget, you can catch every play of our Game of the Week live on our sister station, My Indy TV 23. Starts at 7 o'clock tomorrow then of course switch to wish TV for complete highlights on the zone